it as the driving force behind like let's you know let's go forward with this let's let's piggyback off this let's keep this going and that's where the danger comes in so is he anti-semitic or is he just not getting treatment for his mental illness is it a mentally ill person who's not getting treatment and i don't know the answer i don't know i just know that if you're gonna have these strong convictions and you stand behind that again i don't know if he stands behind this stuff i don't know if he's if he is off medication or you know if there's other things because here's the thing i've said stuff in the past right there's stuff that i was like okay i'm just trolling i just want attention okay there's stuff i've said when i was high out of my mind i don't even remember i was blacked out don't remember okay and then there are things i've said that hey these are my opinions but then i backpedaled because i got so much backlash i got scared you know people were like i hate you for your opinion and i was like okay you know i'm not gonna have an opinion anymore so either have the opinion stand by it okay but if you're gonna say something that's like gonna incite hate gonna cause a group of people to be attacked by your words like you have to be prepared for these repercussions and i'm glad people this is the kind of thing where it's like okay this you should be held accountable for i know we kind of talked about james corden last week and it's a weird segue um look i i'm <laughs> like i canceled for saying this like people took it out of context i had said during the emperor johnny depp thing earlier this year i was like you know i understand amber Heard. i don't approve it it's not acceptable behavior but i understand it because i also was someone who couldn't control my emotions my rage you know, I had, I understood where she's coming from. You can understand people and not approve of their behavior and not accept it, but you can understand. And I think that's, that's where so many people lack and that's where society lacks is they're not understanding where people come from. I think we need to real, like kind of understand where someone's coming from. So instead of like judging, pointing fingers, all of this stuff, again, anti-Semitism and racism, there's no excuse repercussions all day long. Like there's just no need for that. But as far as like other verbal lashing out or controversial takes that really aren't affecting anyone but the person involved, like we have to understand where those people are coming from, right? In order to help them, or in order for them to help themselves. So again, I don't, I don't understand Kanye because I'm not quite Okay, Amber Heard, I, I, I was a, the toxic person in a relationship, okay? I really was, and from everything we heard, I, I unfortunately related to a lot of it and understood where she was coming from because in my experiences, when I've had those issues, that she, a lot of the issues she had, I was untreated at the time. I was undiagnosed and untreated mentally ill. And again, this is these topics are so touchy, and they are so many opinions and judgments that go along with all this. I'm trying my best to tread lightly. Because once again, I do not stand with Connie. I do not stand for anti-Semitism. I do not stand for racism. And I don't stand for any sort of language or remarks that could be even perceived as anti-Semitism because it just incites so much hate and I don't like it and I don't want to be a part of it. And that's why I stopped making any sort of even lighthearted jokes because I do have so much respect and if it can incite one bit of hatefulness or anger or offend, offend the people I I don't want a part of it so should Kanye West be cancelled for that? yes in this case I do think so but I do think we need to like understand this person and like hopefully he can like understand himself or at least better articulate himself or Sure.